Hello there everybody and welcome to episode 1 of my gameplay series for the Iron Oath, which has been today released out of early access and is finally version 1.0, a game which I have recently in the past featured with a little guide and I was like that sounds really awesome, let's wait until it's done and guess what, it is done. So. Think of this game as a more RPG driven version of Battle Brothers. So you have the mercenary company gameplay style. So we have a couple of people here, but it's very story driven. Our story begins with being betrayed out of our first job. That's the prologue that we've uh, been playing. I skipped through that because uh, it's also part of the tutorial and I felt like summarizing it would be enough and we're out for revenge now. But the problem is the people that betrayed us are way more powerful than our fancy little group is at the beginning and as far as I see things our job is to strengthen up and get the thing done. We have a high fantasy world going on here which has uh, an active gameplay there is also a cataclysmic uh, event of uh, sorts happening in the story, and I'm really looking forward to dig into this with you guys, so let's get started, shall we? So the first thing we are to do is we got to travel to this city, and we're going to do that. The campaign runs for 25 years, and as far as I've understood things, there's plenty of different ways how to do this. There's uh, lots of different factions. As you see here, every city has a reputation. There's different noble houses and factions, so we're gonna have some fun with that, and let's enter the city. So, well, what do we have here? We chill out a little bit at Andalon, and the Scourge. Yeah, that's what I've been talking about. Uh, yeah... We've been wounded because of the betrayal, and we're going forward to the inn. All right. All right, Yurik is our most experienced person in the group. Okay. Our former employer thought we were dead. Great. <laughs> so as you see here, this game is way more narrative driven and it has pretty good writing actually. I enjoyed this so far. So yeah, Torin, that's our nemesis as far as we know. Okay, he stole the bounty from us and he took the money and told the employer that we are dead. <laughs> Smart boy, eh? So... Alrighty. So, do we get new work? Calum. Mm -hmm. Guards? Permanent guard? I don't know. If I want to be a caravan guard, but whatever. I care not where we travel, just so long as there are buyers for me to sell to. Yeah, sure, man. <laughs> I get my own trader. I like that. Welcome, Caldwin. Sadly, you don't have a portrait, but whatever. So, the Vanguard has there. Okay. Let's go and check out our next employer. I didn't pick up the game in the early access phase, by the way, because I didn't want to burn out myself, because it was already very promising at that point. But I learned my part from Darkest Dungeon, which I totally overplayed during early access, and when the full release was, was there, I, I basically wasn't interested in it anymore. So... Yeah, our company's name is Icon. I'm very creative, am I? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, when visiting a city, contracts. All right. So, the game's mechanics, by the way, are a pretty interesting mixture between we have a class system here that and a skill system that vaguely reminds me of Darkest Dungeon. 
we look at the trades tab here as well that's very darkest dungeon and the city com uh, management part i see a lot of parts of battle brothers here so i mean it's always a good thing to creatively borrow from other people so let's see what can we recruit here only character classes that I already got. Too bad. We have Stormcaller and Guardian already in our party. I would be looking for something new, if anything. The company also levels up kind of like. Oh, that was the wrong one. We also get uh, here company upgrades. So Renown levels up our company. So there's also a lot of... Uh, different upgradey things here so i'm really looking forward to see how well these things play together so our first job back on your feet ah, that sounds like a beginner quest doesn't it so captain hugh ford what's your problem mm -mm -mm -mm. void spawn I really like this system here. I've seen that the first time with Griftlands from Cly Games. I really love it when the game has this way of explaining things. If you're interested in, and if you're not, you can just skip through it. It's a pretty good uh, way of getting lore and, and things down. Appreciate that. So... We're supposed to guide people to the city. Uh, who doesn't like a good old escort quest? <laughs> Nobody. Personally hate these, but whatever. Let's go. We're supposed to pick up that quest before we go free play mode, I guess. Fresh recruits at the inn. Don't know. I'm not that interested in doubling up on the same character classes that I already got. So... Nah. It'll be fine. At Marketplace? Huh. That loot has damage too. So we also have a durability system with our gear. So I suppose these things break down after a while, but well. Let's see, can I actually specialize characters into some something else here? So we get two part upgrade paths for these, yeah. But the character classes themselves, they don't branch into different uh, skills or something like that well okay I'm going to go and check that out as it is but we're going to go and just save the game <laughs> nothing beats some good old safe scumming all right so the caravan is under attack And let's go and have some fun with monsters. Hello, Vanguard soldier. Well, typical scenario of we're uh, defending the caravan together. You go with the refugees. Okay. So we're allowed to just flee with the refugees. I bet we're getting attacked on the road. Of course they do. This wouldn't be your first quest if we wouldn't get a tussle with these beasties, eh? Uh. There's a cave system not far that will take us closer to Andalon. So... That's a nice way of selling me a dungeon. Alright. See, we wouldn't have been able to pick up a fifth person, a sixth person anyways. Select provisions. So, antidote, idle small health potions I definitely 
<laughs> I don't have that much money. Whoopsie doopsie. Damn. I'm poor. Wait a sec. Way on hand. Eh? But I have way more money than that. Hmm. I'm confused. We're going to buy those tools because I know that they are useful. And let's try what that does. I mean, I'm obviously allowed to pick that up. Now then. So we got a dungeon now in front of us. And we found a dead body at the, at the entrance. Scroll of a cursey. So, this is no uh, provision item, is it? We can use the healing ability from our guardian in between, that's good. Ah, here, company storage. So... Let's see, maybe I can use these out of storage directly. So here we have unexplored nodes, and here we have the total number of tiles we have explored. And I don't know... Ah yeah, here, time. So the longer we stay in here, the more bad things will happen. So we got here permutators. Well, rest of people gain extras, and whenever the we have uh, passed 50 time units, something bad will happen. I, I think it was working like that. Reveal a nearby enemy, why not? We don't need a campfire yet. We've only just begun. Alright, let's go. So, what do we have here? Couple of little monstersies. That's my mage. I don't want him in the very first ranks. I think that should work. Can I put these? Oh, I can. So I think I want everybody on, on this side of the map. I like that more. Alright. Let's go. Let's see. Can I blink over there? No, I can't. Is there an undo? Yeah, then we're going to move over here instead and give that guy a nice proper beating. So these skills, they have charges, and when these charges are used up, I think you need to rest up and uh, after a, a night of sleep, they will be back up and running. I think uh, it was working like that. So, chain lightning. Mm, I'll be frying my monk a little bit, but pretty sure he can handle the heat. Let's move the paladin up front to the mage thingy and blind it. There we go. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have uh, fried my monk dude with uh, alongside with the AoE. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that. So let's do a kick. Alright, definitely not gonna be uh, putting more stress on the monk here. There we go, and that's a dead enemy. So, what's the outcome of that? Arm injury. downed. If you lose all bleed out points, the character is permanently dead. I see. Now, I didn't do too smart with that AoE overkill, but, you know, sometimes it's also worth just uh, checking out things to learn how they work, so it doesn't happen again that uh, quickly. Alright, can he... Pierce attack like that? No, he can't. So. Let's see. Demon's blood. Now, that sounds like a loot item to me. 
Okay, okay, I'm sorry about that. We should be able to use that one. Ah, oh, yeah, and he keeps the, the bleed-out points, I see. Well, for being a bloody noob, you get what you get. But I really do like to record the games like that, because I feel like that's always a good way of uh, documenting the game as it is. So, a level up. We gained ability, ability upgrade points. And or mage is depending on accuracy, critical, and evasion, right? Power. I think that's also a thing. Base chance to hit when using basic attacks. Critical chance to land a critical hit. So, how far can we... Ah, I see. The more pips I fill, the more points I get. So, that's 4%. I don't think this was a smart way of spending my points, but, you know, we're just starting out. Cyclone, move to targeted cell. Targets along the path, alright. That's a health restore skill. Making things wet as well. Buff for an ally. Lightning randomly strikes four times in a circular area. I'm gonna, I want that rainfall skill. Can I learn that? Or is this not working out as I... As I think it does. Don't we spend upgrade points like these, no? Or do I need to choose a select a, a specialization here? Let's see. <laughs> you can mod that into a damage thing. You must first level up and unlock the ability. All right. So. What am I doing wrong? Well, maybe we cannot... Uh, we can't do that yet. I don't know. We'll find that out later. A trap. So, let's see. Hey, we disarmed it. 50-50 thing. I don't like these, but whatever. Scroll of Swift Striking. That's speed plus one don't know yet how valuable a plus one is but uh, so let's see exhaustion reduce available ability charges by one ouch that is uh, very very hurtful we found a map of this place so let's go and camp So I was wondering if we're uh, able to level up while we're camping. So... Or maybe it, I need to learn the skills somewhere else. That could be also very much the case. Because I am able to spend my attribute points and everything. <laughs> So, this fine man here, let's see, we're going to give him for now just a bit more power. More damage never hurts. And same goes for her for now. Although, as a paladin, her healing skills are also very important. Let's see that healing thing. What's her passive, actually? After using five abilities... She's cleansing adjacent people from negative statuses, I see. I want more charges on that blinding strike. That blinding strike is amazing. I already like it a lot, as it is. And right now, Fists of Fury, bigger. 
bigger dash, totally doubtful. And here, well, let's do that for now. Faster channeling, oh yeah. This spell needs some channeling time and I really like it. Better than incense, restore vitality, okay. Mend wounds, let's go for a combination like that. I still have three points remaining, but Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so the bleed out points on my monk remain. Don't get these uh, restored. We got morale. Okay, I see. The morale of my monk is really bad. What do we have here? An iron vein. Hmm. Yay. <laughs> Not so yay. We we managed to create a cave-in. Okay. So I'm taking the quick way out here for right now. Alright, another fight. Let's do this better than the last time. Turns out I can't take overkill or or friendly fire damage that easily. Got the lesson. So let's go into guard mode this time. Ow! Dang it. But... Let's go for the lightning conduit. Less channeling time means that we're gonna get done faster. My positioning sucked. Oh, I can heal from this distance. Nice. Alright. So, let's lay down a fire trap here. And grant the target power and movement. Okay. And a morale increaser. I would have loved to turn that on my monk dude, but, well... Let's go there, because that glob there doesn't good, look good. Ah, this stuff drains morale. So that's how he went so unhappy. Makes sense. Yeah, well. Alluring darkness. So. I'm gonna keep spamming the heals. So we don't accidentally end up with more bleed out damage oh oh all right there's uh on passant damage this works also on our own dudes a uh, little few things that i need to find out the hard way so we're gonna nuke that zombie bloke here because i am just gonna teleport over to this lady <laughs> That doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity. Okay. Owls. Okay, that delayed blast thing ain't bad. So we're just gonna stay healing, I, th I think. Paladin Lady doesn't do much more than being a healing battery for an owl, but well, whatever. Blazing Lance? Killing Blow? I buy that. Yo, Lady, you are sleeping on a demoralizing grid. Zero morale. Damn. But I do notice that he was able to move in her vicinity without being punished for that, so... Nah, thanks. I'm not uh, gonna stand on that gunk. Alrighty. So... Loot. I'm a little bit too conservative, I think, with this one, but... Uh... 
okay. <laughs> so, ow. No more attacks of opportunity or evading. Ow, that's really a nasty effect. We're out of here. All right, there's even a boss fight at the end of this. That's not that good because we're all battered and bruised. Okay. Damn. So, I gotta bring Yurik in front of these because he's the most experienced guy on the party. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna kick this guy into the pit. That deals extra damage. And stuns them, obviously. So, let's do another uh, lightning conduit. And let's keep cheering our monk. He does seem to do a great job at keeping this thing under control. This looks disgusting, but we seem to have it all nicely under control so far. <laughs> I love playing with environmental hazards like that. Alright, Corrupting Touch skill seems to be exactly doing these uh, nasty fields on the ground. And we took down a boss. Oh, wow. Cool death animation. Sweet. Alright. I do love that support skill of my uh, Valkyrie, though. Gotta say, that feels really, really useful. So let's use that. There we go. So, yeah, he'd be suffering from that, too, so we can't do that. This chain lightning skill is very finicky. Here it goes. I do like the conduit thing, though. So, skewer. like that was an attack of opportunity. Oh, oh, oh yeah, end the suffering. I do remember what this meant. So that thing will explode on us if we don't manage to kill it off in time. But with all the people around it, I'm quite positive that we can do it. There we go. You don't explode on us. Weak Ale, Antidote, and a Leather Kestus. That sounds like a nice thing for my monk. <coughs> I gotta say, that was a really good way of getting a uh, escort quest done without making it bothersome. I really, really like that. But I still don't know if I was able to learn new skills somehow. I feel like I derped on something there. Okay, back to Andalon. Okay, ah, hello there, Mr. Hugh Ford. Let's put it into a positive uh, point here. Yeah, Vanguard Keep likes me too. Alrighty. So I feel a little bit bad about uh, getting my people injured and all, but obviously we didn't do so horribly bad. There we go. Yes, my money, please. Yeah, of course, we're going to take another contract here. So... I'll be looking up the uh, upgrades there in between the episodes. I'm not going to hurry that. 
No, no. We are going to get into the inn and rest up our people. So... They got a lot of fatigue, so let's sleep up for five days. And that's the point where I'll also be saying thanks for watching, my good friends. I appreciate you hanging out. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to continue the series in the next episode when we're going to check out how these things work. If you know what I did wrong with a level up thingy, let me know because I feel like I... I don't know if I derped something or if new skills are available somewhere else. We'll see about that. Either way, comments go down below. A thumbs up would be very appreciated and a subscription, of course, as well. And I would be really happy if you'd be also checking out Patreon, Paypal, or Buy Me A Coffee. If you'd be supporting this channel, I'd be forever grateful. Because of that, I want to say thanks to the supporters who are making me forever grateful already. So thanks for hanging out here and see you all on the next episode. Bye bye.